Results, our ABC News television exclusive with Nicole Brown's sisters. 30 years after Diane's first interview with the family after Nicole was killed, she sat down with them again. And Diane, the way the sisters shared the pieces of the puzzles they discovered about their sister's life with exactly, OJ. Exactly, as they were discovering it mm -hmm. along the way and still are. Uh, I, hard to believe 30 years ago that I first met these three sisters and the family broken by the savage murder. Nicole Brown Simpson, mother of two children with O.J. Simpson. The children are now grown, and well, for most of us, it's just a potent memory, this murder. But for Nicole's family, it's a searing reality of waking up every day. Once upon a time, there were four beautiful sisters, smart, confident, no idea one of them would end up teaching the world about the terrifying trap of domestic violence. It's been 30 years since Nicole Brown was murdered, and I walked into the living room where her family had gathered. Three sisters in shock and anguish, Denise, Dominique, and Tanya. And now, the three sisters walk into the room today. Hi. Beautiful lady. 30 years. Yeah. Can you believe it? I wondered all this time, how do you live with 30 years of rage and heartbreak? A lot of therapy. Yeah, yeah. It was rough. Unresolved grief, everything bit me hard 10 years later. Sometimes I would think, gosh, I'm just staggeringly sad today. And I would realize that it was the day she was murdered, or it was her birthday, or something, or some memory would come up. The pain doesn't go away, it doesn't subside, doesn't get easier, but you do the best you can and you move on and it's one step forward. A new Lifetime documentary has unearthed pictures and videos of their radiant sister Nicole with all her vitality and warmth, a loving mother. I love you, love you. Hey, P.S. Sydney, when you watch this tape when you get older, See that little quilt you're laying on? Yeah, you see it? Mommy made that for you. It's the voice of Nicole that we wanted to hear because so many people said, we don't even know what her voice sounds like. Who is Nicole? So I hope they get a true sense of who Nicole is in this documentary. She was only 18 years old, working as a waitress in the hope of studying photography when a glamorous customer fastened on her. He would charm her into his life and what Denise says is the pattern of domestic abuse inflicted on so many women across this country. You're stupid, you're ugly, you're fat, you're worthless, nobody's gonna want you, I'm the only one that can put up with you. That escalates into that physical violence. And that's the hitting, the kicking, the punching. At the time, their sister didn't tell them the truth of his brutality. I saw a picture, you know, the very young yes. Polaroid picture of Nicole? Right. I found that in her bathroom drawer. And I, I said, oh, my God, Nick. I said, look at that black eye. And she said, no, 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 it was the makeup artist at the studio because he was shooting films at the time. I said, oh, my God, it looks so real. And I threw it right back in the drawer. I didn't know it was a real black eye. I had no idea. Later, they were stunned when they read Nicole's chilling secret diaries of her life. Dominique found them. I found her will, her diaries just stacked in a box underneath the kitchen cabinet with the kids' artwork and all a bunch of other stuff. So she was trying to hide it? Yeah. It wasn't next to her bed where she might write, where he might look. It wasn't on her mattress. It wasn't any place obvious. From her grave, the truth the attack the first year they met. He threw a fit, chased me, grabbed me, threw me into walls. Another time, a possible skull fracture, but she tells doctors it was a bicycle accident. When she's pregnant, he screams, she's a fat pig, disgusting. I want you out of my house. At one point, she calls 911 and runs for her life into the bushes. Years later, a policeman would testify about how brutally she'd been beaten. She was beat up. She had a cut approximately one inch, I believe, on her left upper lip, swollen right forehead, and her right eye was starting to blacken, it was swollen, and she had a hand imprint on her throat. Simpson's handprint on her neck 
and the bruise he inflicted under her arm. It was the first time police would actually arrest Simpson, but he got off lightly. It was the moment Nicole finally confided in Denise. But Denise says back then, like so many people, she didn't understand the complicated quicksand of domestic violence and said the wrong thing. It's like, why don't you just get out of this relationship? Why don't you just leave him? Those are things that you don't say. <laughs> and I didn't realize that at the time. I'm just like, why are you with this person? So I asked all, I asked her all the whys that you don't ask. You are supportive and you just let them do the talking. I, I just wonder if I could have done more to help her, to listen to her, to try to dig into her heart, to, it's the worst thing in the world. When Nicole finally moves out of Simpson's house, her husband doubles down on his jealousy and rage. You can hear it in this 911 call. He just drove up again. <laughs> he just drove he just up me over. Hey, wait a minute, what kind of car is he in? He's in a white Bronco. Okay, just stay on the line. I don't want to stay on the line. He's going to beat the <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, wait, just stay on the line. No, oh, 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 God. Oh, 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 She'd been to dinner with her family. A young waiter named Ronald Goldman came to her house to return some eyeglasses they'd left behind. Someone was watching, lurking. Ron Goldman would be stabbed at least 15 times. Nicole stabbed seven times in the neck and scalp alone. For the past 30 years, the Brown sisters have fought for the protection of women in abusive situations. This is Denise Brown. Ms. Brown is a sister of Nicole Brown Simpson. Denise helped secure funding for the Violence Against Women Act. We are going to stand up and say no. And has traveled the country using the power of Nicole's story. I sit there and I go, why did it have to take my sister? Yeah. Why did it have to take Nicole for people to understand that domestic violence can kill. And now, after all the long decades of anguish last month, O.J. Simpson died from prostate cancer. Did that have a profound change on you immediately? It's very confusing, it's very complicated, but I have a relationship with the kids that means everything to me, and I was just very, very sad. For them? For them. Very, very sad for them. I think back to that haunting prediction Nicole told Denise long ago. OJ's gonna kill me and he's gonna get away with it. Her words to you? Her words exactly. He's gonna kill me one day and he's gonna get away with it, yeah. And tomorrow we'll tell you about the trial and what the sisters think went wrong and their relationship with Nicole and OJ's children. But most of all, they just want you to hear Nicole's voice in every sense of the word across the country. And they are speaking for her because when Denise said what so many people do, why? Mm -hmm. Asking why, for her to be so honest about that and helping people that that's not what you want to do. Right, and when you think of her story and that if she couldn't find her way, out. Well, it, we really all have to learn what we do for the people we know or may know in our lives. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Powerful conversation. Diane, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. and